I will go ahead and get started and then everyone else can just watch later. Um, so in this one, I have a bunch of tests. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, um, I usually do some leopard cups. Well, the most recent one I did was a white leopard um, with like mother of pearl on the leopard spots. You guys can come say hi real quick. Oh, you're too short. <laughs> That's Kinsey. And then Kayla, oh, smile. She just got her braces off today. <laughs> Gorgeous. Okay, uh, so I, I do that with Sax True Flow Under Glaze in Black. Um, but they have so many other colors, obviously. This is one that has not been fired yet. So this is the Black Under Glaze with clear leopard print. And I didn't have space to fire this one. So... Um, the rest of the colors in their sample kit are in here. So I wanted to see what they would look like. Um, I know they are. <laughs> okay, so I'm really excited. There's a really, there's some really pretty stuff up here. Colors make me happy. All right, I don't need gloves. What am I doing? It's not that hot. I'm usually opening the kiln when it's way too hot, as we were talking about earlier, Katie. <laughs> okay. So, this is the orange underglaze, and that, it looks cool. Uh, so, I am going to go back on all of these and add Mother of Pearl to the leopard print spots. And I uh, found some, I ha already had some Sax Clear, so Sax underglaze, Sax Clear, so they go well together. Hi, Murray. Uh, so this one, I can't remember the actual names. I should have brought the glazes over here, under glazes over here, but, uh, yeah, that's cool. So the black fires, like almost a semi matte, it's kind of, I don't know how, it's a satiny kind of finish. And I wasn't sure if the other colors would fire the same way. They're a little bit more matte, but I kind of, I like the texture difference there. So that's the orange sax under glaze with clear over it. You can take that one. Then it's going to have Mother of Pearl on the spots on all of these. Oh, well, I'll go back and forth if that works for you. I really like this one. This is their light blue, Wedgwood blue, I believe, with clear for the spots. And then we're going to have Mother of Pearl on the spots. I know, it's really is it like pretty. A no, it's a leopard print. No, on the background. Oh, no, it's just where it's thinner in spots. It's kind of clear or kind of transparent. That's really cool. Yeah, I like that one. And I like the shape of the cup. <laughs> Got it? Both hands, please. Okay. This one is nice. She's feisty. That's a feisty cup. Sassy cup. <laughs> but this is the red. I think, I don't know the names. I should have, anyway, it doesn't matter. Yep, same thing, red underglaze, clear for the spots. It'll have mother of pearl on the spots. And I, I bought um, Coyote's white gloss liner, and that's what I did for all the insides. So it's really nice. The liner is really nice. I like that one, that one's nice. Okay. <clears throat> this one looks cool too. Ooh. Kenzie's happy because she likes green. <laughs> that looks cool. I like it. I almost like it better than the red one. Did you do a pink one? Um, I don't know. Did they have pink? I can't remember. I don't think so. They don't, I didn't get a pink yeah. underglaze. So fun. Yeah. Same. Clear liner on all those. <gasps> and then if you're new, I'm going to be uh, adding Mother of Pearl to all the shiny leopard print spots. But that's cute. Very cute. Yay! I'm gonna do some more of those. Those make me happy. <laughs> I know, it's such a pretty green. <clears throat> oh, is it your turn? I'm oh, sorry. I'm so distracted. Mm -hmm. This one's already spoken for. Um, I made one uh, previously. So this is just the white underglaze with clear. I did a pink interior because the mother of pearl, as you know, kind of like my glasses. Uh, depending on what's next to it, that's what color it'll take on. So. That'll bring out some of that, but that one's nice. That one's already spoken for, though. Okay, uh, these are some new glaze combinations I am trying out, and I don't like this one. <laughs> um, what was it? 
So this was uh, three coats of blue rutile and two coats of chun plum over it. You can't see the chun plum at all. Well, maybe a tiny bit like right there where I guess I just didn't put it on thick enough. It's not terrible, but it's not what it was supposed to be. I'd show you if I could, but I mean, the cup itself is nice. It's a nice shaped cup. And I've been working really hard on my throwing skills and throwing thinner cups so that they'll be lighter. I personally like a heavy cup, but I know a lot of people don't. It's, you know, hard to hold and everything. So, um, trying to get the thinner walls. Your turn, her turn. Okay, there you go. This one, I will try to remember everything that I did. It looks cool, doesn't it? Ooh. Did you say ew or I ooh? Said ooh. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Yeah, very masculine. <clears throat> I need to make more stuff like that, really. I get so caught up in pretty colors, and I know that men like cups too. <laughs> like this one is colorful. Um, so on the inside, what did I do? I think it's two coats of obsidian inside and out. My sister-in-law, Chelsea, got me the fox mug for Christmas. It's my favorite. Aw, good. Yay. I have so many of those right now that every time I make them, they're like just gone. <laughs> I made them. I think I've made 10 for Affair of the Heart. Which is, we'll see if that's enough. <laughs> um, but two coats of obsidian. And then I did Fool's Gold on the top over the obsidian. Um, and then there's Albany Slip Brown on the inside. And that's a cool effect. Can you see that? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. She said it looks like a monster opening its mouth. <laughs> uh, this is some red gloss, some smoky Merlot, red gloss again, Albany Slip Brown to kind of bring some drips. I was really afraid this one would drip on the shelf, but it hasn't, so that's awesome. But you can see where the fool's gold is. I don't know, can you? It's like gold flecks. It sparkles out in the sunlight. It is so cool in the handle but that's a nice that's a big mug too that's probably 20 22 ounces your turn i'm sorry go that way you're hitting the there you go we wobbly um this one is a new combo for me and i think it's actually pretty cool oh is that sure really pretty i yeah, know okay <clears throat> this is a uh, two coats of rose quartz <laughs> and then two coats of uh capri blue over that and I've had a really hard time finding a good use for Capri Blue because it's, I don't know, on its own, it's just kind of me. But that looks really cool. Sweet. That is all matte. Maybe I should have done a clear or a shiny liner, but it doesn't matter. Those are all both food safe glazes. Sweet. That's, that feel it. It's like, ooh very textured. <gasps> Whose turn is it? I can't remember. <laughs> okay. Alright, that was it for the top show. My cup is on the floor. We've got more leopard print down here. Mama, can you make up? I will, just a minute. I'll get to it, okay? This one is just going to have to be... Oh, yeah. We broke her. Oh. So this was a refire, which I hated it mm. the first time. Okay, am I back? the signal cut out and I had to turn Wi-Fi off. <clears throat> okay. This one was a refire. Um, it was, it was indigo rain with green tea over it and it looked terrible. It still looks terrible. Uh, but as a, for the refire, I put Aurora green over the outside and then light flux on the inside. But if you look, it got so thick that it like cracked and that crack went all the way through. It's fine. This one was crazing already, and I was like, ah, I probably shouldn't even bother, but, you know, we tried. Mm. It's ugly. <laughs> it's fine. That one can crack all it wants. Okay. Um, so, my girls uh, made some hand-built cups all by themselves. Okay. Uh, so, theirs are in here. They, gla they made them themselves, and they glazed them themselves. So, if you're local and you want to do my uh, hand-built pottery mug class, if my kids can do it, you can do it, okay? <laughs> All right. It's fine. Do you, we're going to throw it away. This one is Kayla's. You want to talk about it? to the drippies. Come here. You can talk about it. 
No yeah, drippies. there's a little bit of drippies. You probably just didn't have enough, which mm -hmm. I'd rather have not enough <laughs> not drip on myself. Uh, so she did the um, turtle textured roller that I have. And she did pink gloss. Yeah. Pink gloss on the outside with some light flux around the rim. And then she did rose quartz on the inside. So it's matte on the inside and glossy on the outside. But yeah, she made this all by herself. No help from mom. Good job. I have a drinking cup. And you said the handle was going to come off. It might. It still might. <laughs> well, you know, we tried. I did um, look at it. Mama, you, you didn't it? help her, but I have you did? Oh, okay. Well, Kenzie helped Kayla. Um, All right. Sure she Kenzie did. did hers, and it kind of it lost texture a little bit. But she did the, um, I have a firefighter textured roller. So it's got, like, the fire hydrant, the ladder, a truck, all that kind of stuff on there. The fire. First, Which you can see it on the inside. Hose. See all the little textured in there? Uh, what did you put on the outside? Do you remember? Um, it, Raspberry uh, mist? Yeah, raspberry, raspberry mist. Raspberry mist with... Light books on the outside and same on the inside. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. And she did. She wanted it to not have a handle, which is fine. <laughs> she said, well done. Well done, Kenzie. Good job. Yeah. Those turned out great. We'll just sand the bottoms and they'll be good to go. Yay. <laughs> good job. Awesome. Okay. I've got one, two, three. I've got six more leopard mugs in here, and then that's it. Here, go back that way, okay? <clears throat> um, it's not pink, but it's light purple. It looks pink. It is regal purple, I believe. But it's Mom, very lavender. It's cute. It reminds me of the era speak now. Does it? Yeah. I like it. So, two coats of... No, I did three coats on some of these. Three coats of underglaze. And uh, then the clear over that, we're going to put Mother of Pearl on all the clear parts. Then the white liner. I really just used this as a test for these underglazes, which, you know, that's risky to do on actual mugs, but it worked out. <laughs> cool. Very nice. Careful. But you're giving her all the white. I don't know. Your hands are full. Okay, this one is their light green. I don't really, I think it's apple green maybe. Yeah, yes. apple green. But that looks nice. I'm excited to see the mother Ooh. of pearl. Can I keep Don't touch one? the pole, it shakes the phone. Uh, oh, that was sharp. <laughs> never know, never know. Mom, can I keep that Isn't one? that cool? No. Oh, that's another one of my favorites. That's my favorite. The green, the is it your turn? Is. Awesome. Um, so yellow is not my favorite color, Ooh. Ooh. but Let's somebody that does like yellow <laughs> might really like this. It looks the like yellow is very vibrant. <laughs> looks like a minion, Mom. <laughs> a minion? Yeah. It is that kind of yellow, isn't yeah. it? Again, clear. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. I kind of wish I had put clear on all the handles just so they feel a little bit better, but they're fine. It just feels a little bit like, it's just matte texture as well. But, <laughs> that's cool. Your turn? Is it your turn? Mm. Okay. The bottom just looks a little bit This hard. one is, okay. Um, it's pansy purple. Mm. So you can see purple. when the clear is on it, it does look purple, but if it's just the raw underglaze, it looks blue. So it's not a terrible look. It's just not purple. It looks like... I know, the apple green did look good. I like that one a lot. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, not without the clear. I don't know. It, does, it looks purple. It looks purple with the clear, though. So. Huh? Raw? Raw. It just means unfinished. I don't know. It's my turn too. Yeah. Ooh. Um, I did not know if this one would look good. Ooh, it's crazy. And I don't like it. It cracked. It's the cup didn't crack. So I did um so every time I do brown underglaze, it is so thick in the jar. And I don't know what that's about, but all my brown underglazes are like that. 
So I did three coats of brown on here and the underglaze itself, that's not a crack in the cup. That's just a crack in the thick underglaze. And then with the clear on it, it looks orange, <laughs> doesn't it? I don't like this one at all. I kind of knew I wouldn't, so I put my least favorite cup in the brown. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. I may end up giving that one away. I, I don't feel right. You know, I wouldn't sell that. Well, you know, you can't win them all. I like the texture of the brown better. It's more of a that satiny finish that I like. Kinsey. I'm sorry. You'll get the next one. Okay, last one. And I don't care for this one either. No. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Right. This is the, I want to say royal blue or something like that. Ooh, the clear made it look the clear. The, yeah, the clear made it go clear. <laughs> it's not bad. It'll still look good once I get the pearl on there. It'll kind of hide some of that <coughs> splotchiness. But, girl, she's Stop. gonna break stuff. Well, don't break yours either. <laughs> they Nancy. Okay. Yeah, I don't like this one either. Maybe once I get the pearl on there, it'll look better, but um, as is, not my favorite. No. Okay. Yeah. Your turn. All right. That was it. Which one's my favorite? Oh, the dark green, probably. No, give me the dark green. And the red. Everybody gets their favorite. Yeah, I like this dark green one. Oh my I know, that's kind of what I'm hoping. I got Can you hear me the red one? Everybody get their favorite. Careful, don't hit that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. These these two are my favorite. I like the green the best, I think. I'm excited to see the pearl on them. Which is what I'm going to be doing now. <laughs> okay. We can, oh, you want to show? She's showing. Woo, there's a shelf back there. I'm sorry, I'm in her way. There you go. Hurry up. These are my favorite. <laughs> Cause this one's mine and then I also like sage green and this is close to sage green. Yeah. <laughs> and this one is my favorite. Ooh, my cup. Favorite. Awesome. My cup is my favorite. Thanks for your help girls. <laughs> okay, we've got work to do tonight. Thanks for hopping on and watching. Okay, it is the next morning have the luster results here so we're gonna pull those out and see how everything looks okay so I think I need to um, so mother of pearl sometimes will leave a little film so you just kind of have to wipe it off Okay, I think I applied it too thickly in some spots. So like right here, it's kind of cloudy where it's on the bear. But this was the purple pan pansy purple, I believe. <clears throat> uh, it looks really cool on the spots though. Nice. That just kind of gives it a whole new life. <laughs> the pearl looks really cool. Okay, <clears throat> sorry, I have a cold brewing, so things are not sounding great. Let's wipe the film off so you can see what it actually looks like. Cute. This is the apple green. I like it. It just gives it a little bit more, you know? That's very nice. Cute, cute. <clears throat> I think this is the royal blue. Sorry, I have to get all that off. <clears throat> Royal blue, and it did help um, cover up some of the splotchiness in the clear, so that was that was good. On <clears throat> and 
And um, although I'm not selling the brown one, I still went ahead and added the clear, or I mean the pearl to it, because I wanted to see what it looked like for one. And I'm gonna give it away. I still want it to be, you know, what I intended for it to be. And someone's coming out here. Shh. So here's the brown. I, I like it better. Uh, it still has the cracks in the underglaze, so that's why I'm not selling this one, but it's still a really cool cup, so somebody will, and it's functional. There's no cracks inside, but um, yeah, what do you think? Kinsey came out here. Oh, here. Don't touch them. They're still too warm, but here's the green one. No, it's hot. No! Okay, bottom shelf. Hot. <laughs> That's so hot. Yes, it is. I'm touching it with my bare hands. Well, just stop. These are definitely hot, so. I don't touch them. Mm. <clears throat> okay, here's the white with the pink interior. This is, I like this one a lot. It's very, just seems like simple and classic to me. I like it. Yay! This one's already sold too. Girl. Yummy. Shh. All right. Yellow. I've already said I don't love <laughs> but I mean the pearl light looks good on it okay Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. It got a little runny on some of the spots. No, it's right there. Stop. It's too hot to touch. So don't. Okay. Stop. Yeah. The red. Please <gasps> warm. I don't know, I might have liked this one better before the pearl. Not bad, but. Girl, stop. I'm not kidding. Oh, it's too early for this. I don't have the energy yet. They're not hot. Okay. Wood blue. <coughs> I do like it on this one a lot. This blue is almost a periwinkle, and then especially with the pearl on there, it kind of goes like a periwinkle blue. Stop. Oh, my child. Okay, I like that one. I got it. Oh. You better keep track of time for school, so maybe you should go back I'm inside. I'm not gonna keep track of time. I'm gonna skip school today. Stop it. I'm not playing with you. <clears throat> Alright, orange. Another one that I might have liked better without the pearl. I don't know, it's not bad. I just. The colors in the pearl don't play off of this as well as some of the others. <coughs> Still looks cool though. They all look cool. Save my <coughs> green one for that. No, you just exposed it. What? It's fine. 
I like it on this one. <laughs> the purple. So this was the regal purple. Yeah, that looks good on there. It looks <clears throat> soft, like mermaidish. Well, you the one who touched me. I like it on the green. <laughs> it looks cool on there. I don't know. That's I like that. Do you like that one? No? <laughs> Which one do you like? Oh, the sage green, of course. Ooh. She likes the sage green. Very different. The, po the pearl really pops on this one because it's a dark color, I'm assuming. Okay, I went ahead and uh, the uh, multicolored mug that I had as well. I went ahead and put pearl on the entire outside of it. No real reason. I didn't plan on that when I made it. But I thought I would give it a try and see how it looked. I gotta get it. Oh, that looks cool. It looks shiny, shiny, yeah. shiny. Mommy, I need coffee. Oh, they're in the cabinet. Those ones are too well, empty. Well, that's what we got, so. After I put it in my mouth, I spit it out. Okay, sorry, there's all kinds of film on it. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I want to get show you the colors, <laughs> if it will. This one is the one where it had the red and the pink, and then the fool's gold sparkles up here. And then just pearl over the whole thing. I'm gonna go show my my top. Okay. Awesome. That's, that's a lot of cup right there. <laughs> There's a lot happening on this cup. I probably should have not done the pearl, but it's fun. <laughs> pearl just makes everything sparkle. Cool. I like it. <clears throat> we'll see if anybody else does. Okay, that was it. That was the luster results. Um, there are a couple colors that I probably won't do again in this type of pattern, but um, a lot of them I will. They look really, really nice. I love that green one. Let me get it. I love the green, the lavender, the white. Uh, yeah. These two are my favorite with the pearl anyway. Yeah, they look cool. Lots of experimenting and lots more to go. I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.